Hi folks, David Weber here from NetGate. I wanted to talk with you about Tensor's Cloud Mirror Port feature and why it's a pretty special thing for a lot of our customers. First of all, Cloud Mirror Port is a descendant of a network technology called Test Access Point or TAP. TAPs were originally a specialized type of network monitoring hardware. Later, switch vendors incorporated similar technology into their hardware, calling it a mirror port. Cisco calls their mirror port implementation switched port analyzer or SPAN. Both TAP and mirror port can be used for network diagnostics, but there's a difference. A TAP is a splitter that sends a signal that's coming in on one port out of two more. A mirror port, on the other hand, is a feature of the switch that sends any data that transits a port in either direction out of another port. But switches handle traffic at layer two. In the cloud, layer two is effectively hidden. So how do you solve the same diagnostic and security problems in the cloud that MirrorPort enables you to solve in the data center? By the way, be sure to check the links below for more information about L2 in the cloud if you're curious. So that's where the MirrorPort comes in. Our solution gives you the same diagnostic and security capabilities in the cloud that you have in the data center. We do it over layer three. First, let's do a quick run through of how MirrorPort works in the data center. So you have a switch, and for the sake of convenience, it has four ports, and there's traffic passing across that switch. Let's say you want to inspect that traffic for troubleshooting or security or whatever. It's a simple scenario. Anyway, it would be so much easier if you could examine the traffic as it passes through the switch, but if you slow the traffic down or interrupt it, the problem could get worse. That's where the mirror port comes in. You select the port to be monitored, select the port to which you want that traffic mirrored, and the switch makes a copy of all Ethernet frames that transit that port and sends them to the mirror port. So if that's mirror port, what is a cloud mirror port? Why is it different? Well, since layer two traffic is out of our control in the cloud, you don't get to just plug into a switch, but you still get IP datagrams. So let's start thinking of this as a layer three challenge rather than a layer two challenge. All right, let's look at some of that traffic in the cloud. In this case, we're talking about Amazon where you get your own private cloud called, you guessed it, a virtual private cloud or VPC. Within that VPC, you have a virtual network and virtual machines on that network. But as I mentioned earlier, L2 is out of our hands. There are still things like ARP there, but it's all lies. Seriously, check out the links below if you don't believe me. Oh, and the reason the animations in this video suddenly got better is that I got help. I'm not proud. Anyway, back to our VPC. Let's replicate the scenario that I walked through earlier, but we'll do it here in the cloud now. First, there's traffic passing between these machines, but now it's IP datagrams, not just ethernet frames. And that means our network gets a whole lot more interesting because we're now talking about traffic that can go way beyond just the switch. So let's throw in some other things to make this real. Here's another virtual machine. Here's the network back at corporate. Here's a bunch of users. And finally, here's that thing that everyone connects through, the internet. Okay, so now that we have the whole picture, we still have the same goals, troubleshooting and security. But now there are just a few more variables. In this picture, we're going way beyond just an ethernet segment. So now things are getting fun, right? There are a lot more variables and the whole network is somewhere over there. It's in the cloud, wherever that is. So you can't just plug into the switch to troubleshoot, but you can plug into Tensor because Tensor is the network here. All of your AMIs are plugged in. Okay, time for a little bit more about Tensor. Tensor is a high-speed packet processing engine implemented in software. In simple terms, it's a router, but it's both more and less than the routers that you may have seen before. First, Tensor scales, one gig, 10 gig, 25, 100 gigs, and more. The only question you need to answer is how many cores to use. Bandwidth scales linearly with cores. Right this moment, that's not a big deal on Amazon because there are limits to the bandwidth between, that you can get between VPCs, but it won't be that way forever. Amazon announced EC2 instances with 25 gig network adapters last year. 100 gig infrastructure is mainstream now, so how long before it'll be commonplace within AWS? Second, Tensor is built for management in the modern world. 
All functionality is available via the REST API. Oh, and every bit of that functionality is also available via the command line. Keyboard jockeys and automation wizards are both welcome here. So let's talk a bit more about Tensor as a cloud mirror port. Back here in the cloud, there's plenty of inter interesting traffic running between services inside of the VPC. And remember, the whole reason we're talking about this is because you still need to be able to monitor this traffic for troubleshooting and security. By the way, there are solutions that'll tell you what's going on within your VPC. Most of them involve loading an agent on each instance and collecting the data from those agents. In other words, you now have as many agents to maintain as you have instances, and when something goes wrong, the first thing you need to do is make sure it wasn't the agent that caused it. That's not what Tensor does. I mentioned earlier that Tensor is the network. Well, here's how that works. Tensor is a virtual router, or vRouter, and just like any other router, it has interfaces. In the current diagram, we're dealing with just two interfaces. One is inside the VPC, all the traffic between application subnets, the east-west traffic, and all the, app, all the traffic that enters or leaves the VPC, the north-south traffic, passes across this interface. Then there's another interface outside. All the traffic that comes in from the internet or heads out to the wide world crosses this interface. What if you could analyze a copy of all the data from the inside interface? You could do that inside of the VPC along with all of your apps and data, but don't. Let's make a new VPC. And you could use Tensor here too, if you like, but it's not required. We'll put all of our traffic inspection stuff in there. Then we establish a tunnel between the two VPCs. That tunnel is the third interface on Tensor, and it's the interface we're going to mirror to. So just like the switch example, we select the port we want to monitor and select the destination port. Then as soon as any IP datagrams transit that interface, they're automatically copied out the mirror port to the other VPC for inspection. Now, let's sum all of this up. With Tensor's Cloud Mirror Port feature, you can monitor traffic in VPCs with no application changes. That means no changes to code or loading or maintaining agents. No impact to infrastructure. That means no slowing down traffic or making weird route table changes. Complete visibility to all of your east-west and north-south traffic physical separation between your troubleshooting and monitoring tools and the production network, no need to go change things every time you create a new AMI or change the way your applications communicate with one another within the VPC, or make new connections from the outside. And finally, this is a solution that works just fine with popular monitoring tools. There are commercial products like Fidelis Network or open source Product, projects like Wireshark or Snort that can make this monitoring easier for you. Well, that's all the time we have today. I hope you folks keep coming up with interesting problems and let us know about them. We like interesting problems. Thanks!